All right, guys, so this is the second part. This is really what you should be doing if you're going to update a gigabyte BIOS. Now, I don't know about other uh, manufacturers. Um, I have done one Asus or Asus uh, BIOS. But what you want to do, the first thing you want to do is go in to your BIOS and load optimized defaults before you do anything. Um, they say this is a, a good safety feature. So I'm going to load optimized defaults, save and exit setup, setup. And hopefully this won't be too boring. There's my beep. So my optimized defaults are loaded. I can tell because this big flash screen comes up and I had that disabled. So Now that I've loaded optimized defaults, booted back into my BIOS, hopefully, yeah, okay, uh, I should be, I should be ready. So down at the bottom there, there's a hotkey, um, F8. Now, I want to point out that I do have my flash drive still plugged in from the first uh, part of this video um, with the two BIOS uh, files on it, F6 and F8. So uh, it should have picked it up and uh, we should be good to go here. So enter Q flash with F8. It'll ask you, do you really want to enter Q flash? You just hit uh, enter for yes. And it gives you some options here. You can save the BIOS, update it, uh, a couple other things. What we want to do is update the BIOS from a drive because it's a USB flash drive. So um, now this can be a confusing part, but if you have a, I don't even have a floppy and my USB uh, flash drive is showing up as hard drive 3-0. So I'll go ahead and highlight that and hit enter. And there's my two files I have on it. Uh, my board name .f6 and my board name .f8. So I'll highlight my board name .f8 and you want to be real sure that you get the right board and the right variation of board uh, before you do this. I wanted to point that out too. So I'm going to highlight F8 and press enter. And here's the process that it goes through, reading the, the, reading the file, and then it'll say pretty much, okay, we've read it, it looks good, are you sure you want to do this? Press enter to continue or escape to abort. So you can still get out of this if you want. Make sure there's not a big lightning storm going on or something. Uh, you might want to wait till it passes if there is. But I'm going to hit enter to continue. So what it's saying here, process migration, and it's erasing and updating a little bit at a time the flash memory. While this is happening, I do wonder, uh, flash memory does have a limited number of uh, write cycles. So, you know, this is about my fourth or fifth time updating this BIOS. It does start to make me nervous that the uh, write cycles, uh, you know, are going to be sufficient. But uh, I guess I'll find out one time if it fails. So, erasing, updating, erasing, updating. It's done. Now it's verifying. Not sure if you can read that or not. I hope this turns out because I'm not going to do it again. So the BIOS update has completed. It passed. Press any key to continue, it says. So I'll just go ahead and press enter. 
So at this point, you're back to the flash utility. You've updated. What you want to do at this point is reset, and it gives you a hotkey to reset, which is escape in this case. So I'm going to hit escape. And it'll say, are you sure you want to reset? Enter to continue or escape to abort. So I'll hit enter to continue. Now my BIOS should be updated. And I'm pressing uh, delete right now to boot back into the BIOS because this is part of it. And just real quick, I am going to open up. Yeah, you can see right there uh, about a third of the way down the page, BIOS version F8. So they say another safety feature after you've done after you've done this is to load optimized defaults again. So I'm going to safety first, save and exit. And now all there is left to do, and I'll go ahead and record this. Now I'm pressing delete again to get back into my BIOS. So at this point, all you really need to do is uh, go in and set your uh, your memory settings, which mine is 1600. Your memory timings, which mine are seven, eight, seven, twenty, And that should actually set both channels, which it did. So I'm pretty much done there. You want to go into voltage settings. My uh, RAM is 1.65 volts. I only have the option of 1.64 or 1.66. So I'll go ahead and set that. And for right now, I'm not going to do an overclock. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave everything pretty much at the uh, auto like it's set at, except for the, like I say, the RAM timings, the RAM voltage. You also want to go in and make sure that anything you don't have is uh, disabled, or it's a good idea. See, I don't have a floppy. So I'm going to disable that. And your hard disk boot priority. Make sure the one you want to boot to is uh, listed first. Adjust them in any way you see fit. First boot device, I want to be my CD-ROM, second, hard disk, third, disabled, full screen logo, I want to disable that, uh, peg is my X16 graphics slot.